Then we woke and were hurtling headlong for wields and wolds, blood coursing, the D and the Nid in full spate through the spinning water wheels in the wrists and over the heart's weir, the nightingale hip-hopping ten to the dozen under the morning's fringe. It was no easy leap to exit the engine house of the head and vault the electric fence of commonplace things, to open the door of the century's driverless hearse, roll from the long cortege, then dust down and follow the twisting ribbon of polecats wriggling free from extinction, or slipstream the red kite's triumphant fly-past out of oblivion, or trail the catnip of spraint and scat tinging the morning breeze. On we journeyed at full tilt through traffic light orchards, the brain's compass dialing for fell, moor, escarpment and shore, the skull sextant plotting for free states coloured green on the map, using hedgerows as handrails, barrows and crags as trig points and cat's eyes. We stuck to the switchbacks and scenic routes, steered by the earth's contours and natural lines of desire, feet firm on solid footings of bedrock and soil fracked only by moles. We skimmed across mud flat and salt marsh, clambered to stony pulpits on high hills, inhaling gallons of pure sky into the moors of our lungs, bartered bitcoins of glittering shingle and shale, then arrived in safe havens, entered the zones, stood in the grandstands of bluffs and gills, spectators to flying ponies grazing wild grass to carpeted lawns, oaks flaunting turtle doves on their ring fingers, ospreys fishing the lakes from invisible pulleys and hoists, the falcon back on its see-through pivot, lured from its gyre. Here was nature as future. The satellite dishes of blue convolvulus tuned to the cosmos, tracking the chatter of stars. The micro-gadgets of complex insects working the fields, heaths tracted by beetles, rainbowed hay meadows tipsy with mist and light golden gravel hoarded in eskers and streams. And we vowed not to slumber again, but claimed sanctuary under the kittiwake's siren and corncrake's alarm, in realms patrolled by sleepwalking becks and creeks, where beauty employs its own border police. And witnessed ancient trees affirming their citizenship of the land, and hunkered and swore oaths, made laws in hidden parliaments of bays and coves, then gathered on commons and capes, waving passports of open palms, meddled by dog rose and teasel, and raising the flag of air 